friends and neighbors, welcome to another production of the program. Here on TV, once again, once a day, every day, turn machines and live forever. Here we go, living again, alive and fine. Healthy, I feel healthy, I feel fine. Um, it's uh, Friday, you know, like Rebecca Black. Uh, which seat am I gonna take today on this Friday? There's uh, seats open in the front seat, seats open in the back seat. Like I don't know, I don't know what it is. Seats open in the front seat. Uh, it's um, what that got some crumbs. Uh, it's. Uh, it's a day. My friends out there in TV land, thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. You can get on the Zoom. I'm going to get on the Zoom. The link is on ydhwm.com or you can call the number up there, 360-364-384. I'm getting on the Zoom. I didn't get the thing. I, I always get don't get that plug. I should get some more stuff because... Uh, Every day I cannibalize the studio setup a little bit to go move over to my other setup it's over there. So, and then I gotta move it back every time. So if there's people on the Zoom, then I gotta go over there and grab the other thing and do the thing. But I don't think there's anybody there right now. But if they get here, then I gotta go get that thing. Uh, so I'll get it when it, when we get, when, I'll get it when, when it comes down to it. But for now, and look at the phones, see if anybody's on the phones. Looks like Mr. Ginsu left a message. Dan Dobler left a message. Dan Dobler, it's been a while since I talked to you. I want to find John Webster. I wonder if John Webster is in Jefferson County. John, where, where are you, John Webster? Oh, and Mark the guitar player from yesterday. We didn't ever talk to him. Looks like Bird. I wonder Bird talk to us. I think we talked to Bird yesterday, though. But Dan Dobler, that's an exciting time for me. Why? Well, I, I know. Listen. Listen, Dan. Listen to Dan. Hi, Jimmy. This is Dan. You have called me for a while. Now, what's going on? Uh, I'm still here. And, and, and Marilyn's back. Marilyn's back. She wants some marijuana, Dr. Hitty. <laughs> yeah. She wants some marijuana. She wants to get high. <laughs> she wants to get about Hollywood. Uh, she had enough of Hollywood. She told me that they wouldn't they wouldn't put her in the in the movie. They 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 wouldn't put her in the movie that they they did they couldn't believe that she's back. She said they couldn't believe that she's back in Hollywood as well. They wouldn't put her in, in, in the movie with them. She wants to get high. Charlie, you still my doctor, Dr. Kitty. I'm the doctor. Dr. Kitty, you're a good doctor. I, I, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean what I said before. You're a good doctor. Call me, bye. Somebody's leaving a message right now. Why didn't it ring? Albert. Baby girl. Who is is that is that what it actually says? Hey, this is Albert. Calling back. It's been a while. Just wanted to talk. You know? 
in these unprecedented times. Yeah. Just give me a call, baby. Bye bye. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Albert. I don't remember you, but he's getting flirty. <laughs> I get. Um. I don't even know. I feel like they love. Albert, you love me and I don't even remember you? That's not good. I should remember. Um. Uh, not in the system. What, what, what kind of. What kind of love did we have and I don't even remember? It was like a. Just like a you love everybody kind of love? I guess Albert said it's been a while, but how long? I don't remember at all. Albert. <laughs> put more rice in my food. I, 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 I gotta call somebody who's gonna um <laughs> go out and do something. I don't know if Albert's the person, or if Albert's even gonna answer the phone. This is Megan Stapleton with Atlas Plumbing Contractors. I'm not able to get to the phone right now, so please leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm Thank you. I'm going to leave a message for you anyway. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Megan. It's the program. You can call us back. The number is 360-836-4384. You have about uh, 15 minutes today. Okay, thank you. I don't think I dialed the right number just now to try to call Albert. I think this is the right one. Oh, it is. Albert. Okay, Albert, you're in the system. Albert, you are in the system. Albert. <laughs> reckon... Hello. Hello, oh, Albert. It's Albert, hi, how are you? Good, how you doing? How's the program? It's good, we're here, we're on TV still. Um, when was the last time we talked to you? Uh, it was a while ago. Yeah, remember, um, remember when Nick Nurburn was in town with his, his nephew? Yes. Yeah, I, I was there and uh, Victoria was there. And, uh, yeah, it was great. It was, yeah. it was a lot of fun. That was New Year's Day. It was New Year's Day, wasn't it? That's yeah. exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that Victoria? Yeah, Victoria's in the background. Hi. 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 Yeah, that was New Year's Day. I, I think about that day, like, a lot recently because we were entering into this crazy year and we didn't even know it. Yeah, it was just like this, uh... There was just like this demon around the corner, you know? Yeah. And we had no idea it was... Nobody was prepared for 2020. It's like when you have uh, parasites, you know, and you don't know it. Yeah. And then you're like, you're like, oh, I feel healthy. And then all of a sudden you're really you're hungry. Not. And then all of a sudden you're really hungry. Yeah. And you just like, you need to eat like tons and tons of beef. Beef, yeah. Is that what happens? <laughs> There's a beef, beef, uh, like craving <laughs> parasite? Oh, yeah, um, you heard the story about Nick Nurburn when he made his own kombucha? <laughs> no, well, I want to, let's hear it. Okay, so he made his own kombucha, and... That was him? Yeah, well, I think it might have been his roommate, actually, that made it, and he had his roommate's kombucha, and, um, he started getting, like, really hungry all the time, <laughs> and he was just, like, got to this point where he, like, broke down in our house, like, visiting, and he was just like, I just can't get full! And he just had, like, all this food in front of him, just, like, gorging on it. Whoa. And then he, like, broke down, and I think he got, like, a little weepy, maybe, or something. I don't Whoa. know. I forget. But it was intense. And uh, it turned out that he had parasites from the kombucha. Oh, and no. He just, like, 
Yeah. And you couldn't get full. That's the most Olympia thing I've ever heard. Yeah. How did they get in there? Well, it's like, you know, they they get in there somehow. Somebody flies. Maybe flies. Probably flies. Oh maybe God. somebody put their dookie hand in there. I have no idea. Definitely flies. Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. No. It's just like kombucha, you know, when hippies are around, like, no, it's a no hold sparred sort of Dirty hippie. parasite yeah. extravaganza. It made him crave beef? Yeah, he wanted meat. He wanted a lot of meat. Oh my god, the parasite was telling him what he what what it wanted. Yeah, yeah, it was just like, it was, it was hungry for flesh, I guess. I don't have the thing plugged in, Jackson. Jackson's on the Zoom. Um, yeah, so I, I'm in, yeah, that's crazy. That's scary. What did he do? How did you solve that problem? He went to the hospital and they gave him anti-parasite meds. I think he just needs like some uh, tea tree oil, really. <laughs> no, you don't. You can go to the hospital. Oh my god. Essential oil and like cleansing teas. That's how you get rid of them. That was in town? <laughs> yeah, that was in Olympia. Those things must be so tough because they're in your guts. Like, that's a hard place to live. Well, it's like a, you know, like symbiosis where like animals learn to like live with each other yeah. and help each other. It's like that, but a parasite's not helping you. Well, sometimes they do. Like, have you ever heard of hookworms? Have you ever been so lonely? You're just like, if I only had a parasite, I wouldn't be so lonely. <laughs> but, like, hookworms, if you get hookworms and you have bad uh, allergies, they cure your allergies. Really? Yeah. What's the negative effects? We uh, have hookworms. Yeah, you have hookworms. Well, what do they do to you? Well, like, they, they could get in uh, like, parts of your body and, like, damage your tissues. You yeah, in your heart, right? Some, some people, they don't have any negative effects. Oh. It's a gamble. It's a gamble, you for gotta, sure. You gotta have like, really you, know? you lose weight, you know? And, like, who doesn't have problems like weight gain right now? It's just, like, you have worms, you lose weight. It's the diet pill. It's a new diet pill. Well, we you take a risk, risk taking fucking aspirin, you know? Like, oh, yeah. They, they, give, they could give, like, yeah, these parasites to, like, my 600-pound life people who can't stop eating. Yeah. But then you can never get full, though. I'm gonna like sell a worm pill to the rich people, like all these like bougie rich white people. I'm just gonna be like, I can help you lose weight. And it's fucking worm. Yeah, you're like sites. Instagram thin, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sites and cocaine. <laughs> Worms and cocaine. Yeah. Worms and cocaine, you guys just yeah. worms, you know? <laughs> I'll make you lose weight. Um, wow, yeah. That's, are, are you Are you in town? If you're, uh, yeah, yeah, we're in town. Yeah. I, I never, I've never gotten a parasite, as far as I know. Yeah, I've been making kombucha for years, and I've never had a problem. No, that's crazy. How yeah. did they find out that it was from the kombucha? Uh, it's like, I think it's the same thing as, like, the contact tracing, you know? Like... You saw the wiggly. They just, like, ask you a lot of questions, and they figure out where it came yeah, from. But, oh, did, did anybody else get the parasites, too? Like, the roommate? I didn't hear about that, but I bet people did. Yeah. I can get full, so... I'm <laughs> yeah, me too, thankfully. Thank yeah. God. Have you heard of that, um, that movie it was, like, called, like... I think it was, like, a Stephen King one. It was, like, Hunger or something. Ah, oh, oh. that was weird. Are you talking about Thinner? Thinner! Thinner? Thinner, yeah. It's called Thinner. Yeah, it's called uh, Thinner. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That movie, um, he hits, like, a... a Voodoo man with a car. Yeah, yeah, and and then they put a curse on him. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And then he's just like this fat guy, and he's like, oh, I just want to be thinner, and then, like, he just starves himself to death. And he's yeah. like, keeps on eating food, and he dies of, like, I don't know if he dies, but... I hope he dies. Yeah. I think he probably saw... I, I, I would think that he solves his problems and then gains the weight back. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, like, makes amends or something. Yeah, I don't think he die. I don't think he dies. That would be a pretty crazy movie. Mm -hmm. He's just, like, at the end of the movie, the main character just, like, loses and dies from the curse and the, <laughs> he gets in the beginning. And the whole movie's like... I love it. It's a feel-good movie. Yeah. I love it when the main character dies. <laughs> I, like it. I, I like it when the main character dies, too. I kind of think, like, the very last scene of the, every single movie ever should just be, like, the world exploding. It's like yeah. sure that'd be like kind of difficult to make a new movie about it though. It's like okay, but the last movie the world exploded. Yeah, so well, maybe that's part of it. It's like, it's like 
Like, like what about that movie when, like, Tom Hanks dies? I love it when Tom that, Hanks dies. Well, I was thinking about it, and, like, he, he came out with that, like, movie recently. And, like, the only black people that are in there are, like, people, like, serving him stuff. Oh, yeah. Tom Hanks could die. <laughs> no Tom Hanks. I don't know. I was like, maybe that's a feel-good movie now. I don't you know, know what yeah. Tom Hanks dies. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's like um, I just keep thinking sometimes on that New Year's Day, when, when we didn't know, and we're like, "Yay, it's the New Year!" and we're celebrating. We shouldn't have celebrated. It was a mistake. And yeah. it, was, it was a really nice night, though. It was nice seeing your studio space and everything. Yeah. It's it was like, fine. I'm in the basement. Like, I'm in my basement right now because I've moved. I'm not using the studio space right now because I'm I'm calling it working from home. I'm not going to the studio because it's. I don't want to go there and come back every day now. Yeah, it's like. Do you, Do you know when you would go back there? I mean, I, nobody knows. You know, it's like. Like phase four sort of thing. I don't believe the gov in the government's phases. Yeah. I'm living in phase one still. I'm not doing that stuff. Yeah, no, it's it's way too fucking early. But do you ever invite anyone down to your basement? No. No, you never like. You want to come down to my basement? You're doing like a pretty good quarantine, though, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm like I. I've been doing quarantine like more than most, and I'm not. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm like not having people over. I'm not doing any of that. So. Good for you. Are you wearing a mask when you go to the grocery store? I actually not even. I haven't even gone to stores. Dude, for how long? When's the last time you went to the I'm store? I'm I'm getting. I'm getting the deliveries. Oh, weird. Dude, I saw that episode where like um. Your grandma was, like, with your brother, and, like, she passed out. Is she okay? Yeah, you saw that episode, huh? She she has blood pressure issues, so she falls unconscious every once in a while. Oh, poor grandma. Yeah, it's not good, but it's been years. It's been life, yeah. It's been years like that, so it's kind of, like, a thing, and, you know, we take her to the hospital... And that I remember the one thing the doctors told me, like, when she was t there telling me about her diagnosis was, like, if you, if it was, like, you had this problem, I'd be very, very worried. But Grandma is, like, uh, almost 90, so it's not. Wow. Yeah, it's, like, pretty normal to have, like, bad health problems when you're that old. Yeah, so she just has, like, um, she has just, like, um, blood pressure issues, and she's on, like, blood pressure medication. So, oh, that's pretty normal to pass that then. She's probably on, like, uh, those, those like, uh, what is this? Those, uh, beta blockers? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but she takes... Well, she pass out easily. Yeah, so she passes out, like, not that... I, and my brother, my brother kind of dramatized it and said that she died for a minute. <laughs> I know, I was, like, I was, like, thinking about, like, the, the like, how, you know, just, like, mortality... I was thinking about mortality and, and how, like, beautiful life is and just, like, how much we should cherish our lives and, like... Yeah. I was just, like, I was just, like watching the episode while I was at work, you know, just in the background. I was like, fuck, like, life is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Grandma, it's it's pretty crazy because I, I was visiting her every week for many years. As long as I can remember, maybe it's like many, many years, and now I'm not doing that. And you know, she's at the end of her life, ish. You know. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of crazy. Right yeah. It's, it's like everybody has their time, you know. Like, Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, I, I like, haven't been visiting. I, 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 I don't think I'm gonna get that healthy to be that old. You know, like that's pretty amazing that yeah. she's that old. Hey, Albert. Were we calling you Albert? Do you have another name? Kale. Kale. Yeah, that makes more sense. Cause I was like, when you when you called, I was like, Albert, who is this? I don't remember. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, a lot of people like call me Albert now, but like I used to go by Kale. But Kale's my first name. Albert's my middle name. You know. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah. And I just wanted to start going by like something that's more like profesh. You know. Yeah, cause Kale's like the vegetable. Yeah, it's like my parents are like hippies, you know, yeah. and so it's like. You like live your life with the name of Kale, and like, what does that, what like, what what does that give you for like every first encounter that you have with people? You know, they're always like, "Oh, I love Kale." Yeah, people think that maybe you're that you're the hippie and changed your name. Yeah, that that's typically it, and it's it's frustrating. You know, it's like 
it's hard to like have a business meeting or something, you know, like yeah. with the name of Kale, you know, everybody's just like thinking that I smoke fatty bong rips from dawn till dusk, you know. Well, do, do you though? No, I don't smoke weed at all. Oh, uh, wow, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, How's that? Uh, who? Who is the kid? That was that. That was Nick's. Nick's route. Oh, Truman. Truman. Yeah. I saw a photo of him on Nick's Instagram. Like Nick takes these like really beautiful um, portraits of people. You know? Have you seen those? Uh. No, I don't think so. That was like his thing for a while. Like he was just like taking photos of oh people for a living. What? And um, he just like takes these really nice photos of people, but he just like put a nice picture of Truman on there. It's like, man, Truman's getting older like every day. It's crazy. Yeah, he's in a, definitely in a um, growth spurt age. Yeah. But like, I remember seeing him when he was like a little kid, and I was just like, fuck, I'm getting old. Like, this kid's getting super old. Can you can you say something for? I I gotta grab this thing. Can you say something for like thirty seconds? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go for it. Um, so, everybody, wear your mask. It's very important. And I, I heard this like really important um, thing about like it's, it's like a, uh, an analogy to wearing masks. So like, if one if one person's wearing their pants and their underwear and they piss their pants, then the person next to them doesn't get to piss on them. And, but if they are wearing their pants and the other person's wearing pants, then they get to piss on them, but it's like not as bad. But Jackson, if both people are wearing their pants, then, then nobody gets piss on them, you know, except yeah, for the person, I, I you know, know, and that's the way the masks work, you know? Jackson, you can, can you talk now? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Jackson's on the Zoom. Um. We're, yeah, we're doing Zoom Zoom now also. I've heard that one. I have a mask. I've also been wearing a face shield. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. But you're not going out in public very much, right? Um, I work at the at a food place. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You you like uh, you make sandwiches, right? Yeah. I'm an essential. Yeah. I'm essential. I'm a hero. <laughs> but not really, you know. I'm just making, this, making some food. But, I, um, yeah, I'm essential, but I don't see people, so it's like very non-essential. Well, that's nice. I hear a type of sandwich. I. The county. The county. Isn't a hero a type of sandwich? Yeah, a hero is a type of sandwich. It's like a, but it's I not know. just a type of sandwich. I'm a hero. It's the person hero. that makes sandwiches during this crisis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy though. But I got them. I'm not going to stores, but I've got to go to make sandwiches. But I'm wearing a um a mask and and a face shield. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like I didn't like for a while. I didn't leave the house. I was getting real. But I know I I'm only going there and then coming right home. And it's it's a hard it's hard. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, it's hard. Are you going to stores? No. Yeah, yeah. I've been going to stores. Um. I'm like in an office setting, so like I see people and stuff, but they're like pretty good at the masks and everything. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, I have been going to stores because like, I need to get food, you know? Yeah. Um. But it's scary. Like, uh, I went to this like grocery store like in Tacoma. And there was like a guy without a mask, and he was just like coughing really hard, uh, like everywhere. Yeah, and I was just like, I remember like Victoria was there, and I was just like, I was like, dude, let's fucking run, like, let's get out of here. Yeah. Why wasn't he? I mean, he was 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 that recently, like before, or after, like they they made it mandatory? Uh, that was like two weeks ago, maybe, like two or three weeks ago. Yeah, but like, yeah, I went to like, I went to like Winco a few days ago when it was mandatory and like a guy wasn't wearing his mask. And I wanted to like confront him, but he was just like, he looks scary. So I just like didn't do it. 
But it's just Doesn't like, sense, I was like, like reading online like what you're supposed to do, and it's like, I guess it's just like best. I guess it's just best to avoid them because like they're yeah. all like pretty violent people usually. Yeah. Yeah. Don't escalate it. That's what I feel like. It's not a good yeah. idea to like confront those people. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of why I got the shield. I feel like the shield is helping me from them. At least makes me feel a little bit better if I have a shield and they don't have masks. So. Okay. You have a bit of a platform, so I, I need to say this, but, like, you need to, like, normalize public shaming of people. Like, that's the only way we're going to be able to deal with these people. No, they yeah. don't respond to that. Well, no, lots of people do. Because they're just, like, so indoctrinated. Yeah. Hey, you're a piece of shit. Wear a mask. You're a murderer right now. No, they I'm don't trying, respond I've, to that. I've been trying to promote this idea that your nose is your new, like, butthole. <laughs> 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 Like, I see your butthole, basically. It's like, cover that up. I don't want to see that hole. Your holes, you know? I was thinking of using buttholes as, like, the new um, identity uh, confirmation software. Oh. You have, like, your, yeah. your, 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 eye, yeah. your iris, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, is it going to, like, scan, scan instead of your retina? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think because, like, it's so unique. Everybody's butthole is very unique. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But you gotta cover it up, you know, because your face is like I can see the holes in your face. Like I don't want to see that. That's, um, <laughs> it's it's. Uh, but it'd be like really hard to like steal your identity, you know. Yeah, you tell people that it's like new. To, it's like I can see your, I see your nose. Like hey, uh, your nose is out. Your nose is hanging out. Like, <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, you can take a picture of their eye and just like put that in front of the scanner. But like the that whole that's a whole different story. Yeah. But yeah. If, you, if you if you say that your nose is the new nudity thing, then we can try to get it like. <laughs> Because at one point, you know, we everybody was walking around naked, and then somebody decided that nakedness is was wrong. wrong. It was wrong, and then everybody's well, now everybody like nobody wants to show, you know, their butt. That's like uh, embarrassing. So it should be like, the same kind of uh, thing. Not everybody's butt's embarrassing. I mean, like passwords are embarrassing. Like it's you don't show like, people your password, so you don't show people your password. You got this man, sixty-nine. <laughs> not, not that, not that I'm uh, gonna be like nude shaming or something, but it should be like <laughs> if you, if you like, you want to hide that stuff usually. In yeah, general. you get like a little phone booth that you do it in or something, you know. Yeah. Oh man, right now I'd rather see like someone nude with the mask than like no mask and not nude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys hear about like there's like a this funny thing uh there's like a coffee shop somewhere where they put a sign up front and they're saying like um yeah, uh, wear a mask, but if you don't want to wear a mask, take off all your clothes. It's all or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Um it makes sense, but yeah, you could see somebody like somebody not wearing a mask in the store, it's like yeah, wor worse. Worse than not wearing pants. Like, if somebody's not wearing pants and just, just a mask only, that wouldn't be so bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just like some some dude with his nips out in the store, like, as long as he's got a mask, I'm fine. Yeah. Like, we used to get, uh, you know, a lot of trouble over that, but as long as they got their mask at this point, I'm not even talking to people. I don't give a shit. I just want to get out of there. Like, the mask don't even do shit. Would you, uh, <laughs> would you eat for dinner, Albert? <laughs> Oh, and then, um, I'm actually grilling. Yeah, what? Yeah. Uh, I'm doing some chicken legs. They're like grilling up real nice. Some corn, some broths. It's it's grilling up real nice. We I got this like a uh, free grill off of Craigslist. It's mm. like this really nice grill. Wow. It's on the free. Yeah. He dropped it off at our house. Wow. Yeah, the guy even dropped what? it off at our house because it didn't fit in my car. It was like really nice, and you just like put it in his truck and dropped it off. Wow, what score, huh? It's a really nice grill. You can like uh, raise the grilling platform. You can like bring the coals up, bring them down. Yeah, it's the nicest grill I've ever used, I think. It's a really temperature. It's so fucking fancy. Yeah. What? I wonder what. Why he wanted to part with it? Oh, uh, he upgraded. Oh. Yeah, he's a rich guy. He's like a JBLM like kind of like military guy. Yeah, know? like we figured out that like when everybody got their stimulus checks, that everybody be like upgrading stuff. Oh, so there's yeah. like a lot of free stuff on Craigslist, especially mm -hmm. since like Goodwill wasn't open. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We got like a big screen TV for like twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
Yeah. And we got a free phone call start. Yeah. <laughs> the same transaction. We joke that like we got a $25 sunflower start and a free big screen TV. It's so big. It's the biggest TV <laughs> you've ever seen. Wow. It's really big. How big is it? Like, it's like five feet wide or something. No, wow. it's not. It feels like it. It's like a, a 30 inches. <laughs> it's like four feet, maybe. No, it's yeah. like this big. It's really big. It's less than three feet. I'm it's bigger than anybody's TV I know that has a TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very big. Oh, yeah. I'm wary of getting things used now. I used to really love thrifting and getting things for free and stuff, but now I'm like not... I don't want to get things from people. For me, it's ethical. I will not buy anything new. This was only like 25 bucks, and I was just like so worth it, like during quarantine. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I just haven't bought anything at all. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's like, that's the other, like, uh, thing you can do is not buy anything. Yeah. And I, but I used to go to, th- I was going to thrift stores, like, pretty much every day. We go to the bins. We went to the bins. We buy food by the pound. It's so yeah. thick. You went we there. We went back. It's it crazy. The bins are open right now. You see my like new like Fourth of July <laughs> T-shirt. It says like um. Uh, I, I love, love to bang. I love a good bang. I love a good bang. <laughs> and it's oh. like a big firework. It's a big muscle shirt. I can't wear it because I'm not a big muscular man. But it's so hot. But the bins are crazy. Like I don't know, like we were there and um and I was like. I was like, we should have been wearing masks before the crisis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people did at the bins. Because there's so much mold and everything. Like, I remember, like, sneezing a lot. Glitter dust. And just, like, feeling sick afterwards. But now I don't. Like, if I go there with the mask. People did wear masks. Oh, that was the... hard to <laughs> In gloves. <laughs> yeah. Um... I, I yeah. never did, but it's probably a good idea. But you, I'm, I, 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 I'm not gonna go back to the bins for a while. I'm freaked out yeah. by the bins now. I, I'm, it's, it's kind of sad, but I flipped over. I used to be, real. I used to love the bins. Yeah. yeah. What, what's it? It's just like they're just open, like regular. Basically, it seems like. It's yeah. Like, well, yeah. It's open regular, but they have a different setup. So they're like, I think they're limiting the amount of people that go in there. Yeah. Uh, and then they, they don't have as many rows. Um, but there's just like a bunch of like baloners in there that have like their, their nose outside of their mask and stuff. Yeah. And like, I hate that. People aren't, aren't social distancing that great. So you gotta like, it's a little sporty, you know? Like, you gotta, yeah. you gotta like move around real quick. I went in the grocery store though where people are just like straight up like no mask. Dude, it's better than fucking Fred Meyer. Like Fred Meyer is like Fred fucking Meyer's bana- a nightmare. I went there and it was like fucking bananas. Like it was like a lot of conservatives. Like Fred Meyer lazy. Yeah, it was awful. Like yeah. I, I felt unsafe. I'm not going to go back to the stores for a long time. I'm not going to go back for a long time. Oh. <laughs> we, had, we had a lady at Dorothy at um, well, hey, we, Albert, we got some more messages, but we're on, um, I'm going to listen to these. We're on Zoom. Do you have Zoom? Uh, I think I might have Zoom on my phone. Let me uh, check. Well, anyway, we're, uh, the, 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 the Zoom link is on YDHWM.com. Okay. And I'm going to listen to these other messages and do more phone stuff, but if you want to get on the Zoom, then you can stay on and call back uh, whenever you want. We're, we're here still every day. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll, tr- I'll try to find the Zoom link. Thanks for talking today. YDHWM.com. Okay. Right, okay, bye. back to you. Bye-bye. Fred Myers is pretty crappy. I can um, second that. Yeah, I have not gone Not good. Uh, Dan Dobler called. And also, we got some more messages while we're here, too, but I want to call Dan Dobler. Wow. Yeah, people are blowing it up right now. Uh... I'm almost out of food. I gotta get a new order. I was gonna uh, the new order. I was gonna get an order on last Tuesday, but it was Buy Nothing Day. Oh yeah. Why couldn't you have done it Wednesday then? Uh, I don't have enough time. Tuesday was my day off. I'm now I'm eating, but I'm now I'm glad I didn't buy anything. Now I'm eating like rice and beans. Yeah. Healthy. I'm gonna eat it for a week. Rice and beans, that's, that's a good combo. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. 
Dan Dobler. Dan Dobler. Is not available. <laughs> the mailbox is full and cannot accept any oh. messages at this time. Yeah, the mailbox won you that. <laughs> um. Can we try summoning Freddy? Yeah, sure. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Freddy. And then you gotta spin around. We're summoning you. That's... Spin around. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. A little dizzy. Uh, here's the next message. Hi, this is Jordan. Call me back. 360. Oh. Who's Jordan? Always, always going to be a fan. Call me back. I got another fan, too. Special guest fan. I'll see you in a bit. Jordan's a big fan, apparently. Ooh, big fan. It's a big shoe. Long time watcher, first time caller. Yeah. Um. Uh, we got another message. I think it's not going to be somebody we're going to call back, so we, we can just listen to this one. And then we'll call Jordan back. I don't know if Freddy's not getting summoned. I know yesterday, Freddy had a lot to say we, we ended up getting. This is an automated call from Puget Sound Energy's new artificial intelligence hotline. Whoa. <laughs> the future is now. <laughs> what? This wow. sounds fake. Yeah, I think that was, uh, it might have been a little bit of a joke, but, um. Who was that? That was the Puget Sound Energy Automated AI. No, no. <laughs> no, I. Who was that? I think it's, um, uh, Cheske. Uh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna call, but, uh. I'm gonna call. Uh, Jordan. Some folks are on. I, really I got. There's a. Uh, Garfield is sleeping. There, uh, Albert. <laughs> yeah. I'm able for it. Oh, we're live. live. Albert. Hi. Oh, look, we got a fire going. Nice. I'm gonna call Jordan. Okay. Yeah, we're on. We're doing Zoom because we're not doing, um, you know, in-person guests for a while. It was the half with the. Why do you look like you have such a big mustache? That's really weird. No, he doesn't have a mustache. No, that's a cord. That's a cord. Cord. Okay. It looks like mustache. Flat, long mustache. Like it goes. Can you wear that? Can you wear that as a mustache? Some fun. Hello. Hello, Jordan. Oh shit! What's up, kids? Penny man. Yes, right. It's a program on TV. How are you? Good, yeah, good. We're we're freaking watching our show right now. It's me and Ben and Haley. We're YouTube live. Oh yeah, you're uh, having people over. <laughs> oh no, no, we're we're like six we're feet up. We're six feet apart from each other. Uh, and uh, cigarettes, smoking dope, and you know having a good time. Yeah, you're looking at you. Can you hear me? I can. I'm, I'm I'm six feet away. I can't really tell. Uh, um, yeah. You're watching the YouTube live. Yeah, yeah. See so you and your your buddies on that. <laughs> what was that? What was that Puget Sound thing? <laughs> that was the automated. Auto, what is this? Uh, <laughs> artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. What did the Puget Sound Energy AI tell you, Kenny? They just said that they announced who they were. What else? I was there, right? They just said that's me. I'm. So, so they announced that they were there, and then and then nothing happened. Yeah. They didn't they like said, have a message. They didn't want to tell you something about your energy. They said, yeah. They said they the, like, they said the future is now. Energy. Yeah, and they're, they're not even asking you what kind of energy you're putting out into the universe either. They're just kind of like, what? They want your money just <laughs> without even fucking yeah. giving a shit about what. Yeah, man. They said the future um, is now. Yeah. I don't think they hold the energy of the Puget Sound. No. I don't think they hold the fucking... It's not, it's not their land. 
smart than I am. <laughs> Um, what'd you, dinner, what'd you eat for dinner, Jordan? First time caller, second time. We're, we're gonna have uh, tuna, tuna salad wraps. That I made. Let I had a blue juice ranger for dinner. Let us wrap it <laughs> up. Uh, yeah, but now we're just eating our vodka shots for dinner. Yeah. Lust. More lettuce yeah. wraps. <laughs> yeah. Lots of lettuce. Lots of lettuce, I know. That's all I eat is a truck on lettuce. It's just edible water. Lettuce and rice and beans. No, the joke. I'm just soaking. I I'm starting to just soak my. Are you looking at you? What? I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. out the window. I'm outside and we're watching you through the window. I'm eating rice and beans. And we're talking. He's eating huh? dinner. This is rice and beans, yeah. Yeah, hell rice yeah. And beans. I love it. I'm starting to like. Just soak my lettuce Wait. in vodka. Can I it? You've been you've been eating rice and beans since the quarantine started, correct? Um, you had potatoes. Wow. Rice and beans. I've had Four days in now, like every single meal. Is it uh, is it refried beans though? It's black beans. Oh black fuck beans yeah! And rice. Fuck yeah! Do you put hot sauce on it? Yeah, dude. Do you put hot sauce on it? I put a lot of stuff in it. There's rice and beans and onions <laughs> and spinach and corn. Oh Fuck my yes. god. Throw some meat in there, like Fuck some pork yes. and maybe some chicken that you get from the <laughs> grocery, grocery delivery. Well, but I, I don't, I don't, I ran out of meat. But, um, I got MSG. I ran out of meat. I ran out of meat. MSG. I ran out of meat. I ran out of meat. I gotta go get another order and get the meat. You gotta get the meat. You gotta get the meat, man. You gotta be like Arby. You gotta be like Arby. Like Arby. Like Arby. Like Arby. But I don't be Arby. You gotta yeah. think like Arby. The beans are good. Arby's is dirty. You probably got more around than McCarney Talk Spray. You're, yeah, <laughs> you're, like, you're like eating stuff and then, um, like, whatever the food is, once you eat it, then you eat it. Then you eat it. That's good. Kenny, <laughs> should, should we do a press release about McCarney Talk Spray? No way. You'll get in no. trouble with that. Yeah. Confidential information. You can you can look on the website. The best virus to come out of McConey's Hawksbury was oh, you, Jesus. Kenny. All we're saying is that look at the Hawksbury website if you're watching the show. <laughs> Jesus. What? Look at the McConey's what? website. Look at Hawksbury location. What? See where it shut down. All right, we're gonna record right, a message. Back to trip. We're gonna record a message of the future. Okay. Time capsule. You have a, 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 a yeah. I can see the fire. It's glowing and making you yeah, glow. Yeah, it's fucking dope. Is that all you can see right now? No, I see you. you I see you, but I, the, you the fire that. is reflecting Unicorn. on your face. Uncle. And then... Uh, I'm sorry. You want the diaper? Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, and then it clicks out the sprinkles out of the heart shape. What? Oh, it's cooler. Ew, dude. <laughs> That's not okay. Wait, who's talking about diapers? Uh, yeah, it was looking up some weird uh, sexual di diaper, like confetti it's sex toy thing, for kids. and it's for kids. Are you saying I guess. sexual uh, confetti diapers? <laughs> are we representing? Yeah, yeah. That's like, that like a good string point. of words that don't have anything to do with each other. I know. <laughs> it's some Will weird confetti bubble diaper stuff, and they don't know. Confetti, <laughs> sexual confetti diapers, huh? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, spaghetti. No, I don't know. They flashed her tire last night. What? They flashed her tire last night. You slashed your tire? Your own tire? No, no. someone else did. Me, me and my partner live in a bus. Yeah. And these two random people that oh, are yeah. in Olympia. These we random young people. Oh, no, let's beat them up. These random right, young Jenny, ass people. Jenny, we're going to go, Jenny. Bye, Jordan. Okay, yeah. They Bye. Bye, Kenny. Bye. Have a good trip. We'll be watching. Bye, Kenny. Bye. Bye. Have a good Kenny. night, Kenny. We love you. Well, you. Oh, you're you're still there. They're gone on the phone. But what? What happened? You're <laughs> on, you have a bus. Well, I was just saying that me and my partner, we're we live in West Olympia, and these like these two young people came by at like. That wave sounded out like leaves. Okay, so maybe they weren't young, but, you know, like one in the morning they came by and I woke up to them slashing our front tire last night or the other night. Don't do that. What? Cool. That's fucked up. Why? Because yeah. random people. Random people. Why do they do that? Because we live in 
the bus, and they fucking think so, that everyone should live in expensive-ass so, houses. So our beautiful neighbor has let us set up a GoPro across the street. And so yeah, it's what, not going to happen again. Why, it's not going to happen again. Why did they do that? <laughs> <laughs> What's the motive? Why are they doing that? Yeah. I wish I wish they would have left a note. Because we, because we live on the streets and they think that they're entitled to not having people living on their fucking streets and they're fucking assholes. Being homeless is That's a political position. Their motive, position. Their motive is they're an asshole. <laughs> yeah. But they. But if you live on the, if they slash your tires, then you can't leave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like. <laughs> 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 Like, well, I guess I live here point. now. If like, anyone ever comes to the street, get out of here. Why don't you get out of here, Miss Slash? You're tired. That's awful. Um, I don't know. I wish they would have. I, I, I wish I would have known who they were. I'm going to record a message for the future. Here it goes. I'm going to beat them up. Hey, no, future, it's the past. Get them together. We're going to beat them up, okay? What do you, what do you have to say to the future? What do you have yeah, to say to the future? What do you have to say to the future, Robert? To the future? Yeah. Stop slashing tires. Nazis up. <laughs> That's what I have to say to the future. Always beat the Nazis up. White supremacists, beat them up. Run them out of town. Inf infiltrate. Always bring a towel. It's Friday. We're talking infiltrate. to Jordan, and we're talking to... And always uh, bring a towel. This is, like, Albert Kale at, and uh, Victoria... At the at the barbecue. I'm Victoria. This is Nicole. You see her? She's beautiful. Hi. <laughs> this is Kale's family. Okay, bye, right future. Yes. Yeah. Well, Kale's family. Can I see the chicken on the grill? Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, you got them right here. Wow, look at that. It looks good. Um. Dude, you have for a vegan hmm. of like 12 years. <laughs> you're you're eating chicken though. Yeah, you quit. You're bra you just just now? No, two <laughs> years ago. Two years ago in New oh. Zealand, because all they have to eat is like lamb or something. I thought it was that oh. piece of chicken right there. Like me, you dropped your vegan. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I'm eating. It. Did you get sick? Don't you usually? Right. If, if you're a vegan, like, how long were you a vegan? He's vegan for eleven years, but he quit. Did he get sick? Did you get sick? He stood in the sixth grade. Did you get sick when you tried to eat meat? Did you have to get your enzymes back? Nope. It was, huh. it was easy. Yeah, I, I like meat. Meat's good. Oh, no. <laughs> More meat's good, too. It fell off. It was too good. It fell off the bone. Oh. <laughs> it fell off the bone. It fell on the ground. Actually, I think I ate some meat today. I've almost... I've been eating... I haven't eaten any... I... I I ran out of meat in my home. I haven't... I don't want to get another delivery, so I've been eating vegetarian meals. I guess it's... Yeah, good for you. I think I've been eating pretty. Oh well, no, I've been eating eggs. Yeah, so but uh. Eggs are vegetarian. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. You don't think eggs are vegetarian? Uh, our house, we have a barbecue right now. Yeah, you think eggs are not vegetarian? Mm. Of course not. I think a lot of vegetarians eat eggs, though. Listen, like um. It doesn't matter, and like eating eggs is like a feminist issue, you know? Because like those are all women chickens over there. <laughs> yeah. And they're like being oppressed. They're the, they're being oppressed by men, or by the 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 roosters. Women women farmers can oppress female chickens too. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen yeah. it happen. I think that it's weird when vegetarians eat tons of eggs and cheese. And it's like it's not vegetarian. Yeah, like, it's like why are you doing that? If you want to do that, why don't you just eat, like you should just like I think you should kind of go all the way. Either be a vegan or eat meat. Yeah. <laughs> like, like yeah. Don't eggs taste better than chicken? Honestly. No. I like I, I like chicken more. You like chicken more? Yeah. That's, that's a fair point. Dude, this but, uh, eggs are. I like eggs more. I, I think they're better when all those nutrients and all that meat's packed into one little yolk. Eggs are eggs are more popular. probably more nutritious and they're very very cheap and versatile. So yeah, I like and uh, yeah yeah they just they like they last a long time too. Yeah yeah yeah. Lots I've of got to refrigerate that shit. She lives in a bush. She knows. 
Yeah, you live in... Oh, Jackson there left. Um, I want to call my grandmother. Okay. All right, here it goes. Grandma. Oh, are you going to yeah, be on, yes. on the phone with us, too? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Grandma's going to be on the phone. Yeah, I'm calling her. Yeah. How much does, does grandma like eggs? I don't know. Hi, Candy. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. I don't know, I'm over here. Yeah, I'm calling to talk to you. Yeah. So, I'm just in the, I'm okay. That's good. Are you drinking water? Yeah, I'm uh, You got it out right now? Yeah, okay. You have, you have water out right now? Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to drink water all the time, Grandma. Okay. Um, just a minute. Just a minute. Just okay. a minute. You're going to see. Whoa. This is okay. I'm okay. Good. Okay. I don't see nobody here. Yeah, nobody probably is not. But you have water, right? Yeah. Okay, then. They come back, they're going to call you back, okay? Okay. Okay, okay then, just send that you take care of yourself. You too. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye, Grandma. Okay, talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Grandma's doing okay. Good. Good She's got her water. She's fucking chilling out. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got to drink water. Are you drinking water? Yeah, we drinking hell. I mean, not right now. I'm right now, I'm vodka. drinking vodka. Vodka is probably a little hydrating. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's a diuretic. But um, it looks uh, it looks so like water. Yeah. Juice in it. Um, yeah. it's important to to, to to drink water. Um, yeah. It's a, here's another message we got from Mr. Ginsu. Oh, this Mr. So Ginsu. Yeah, Mr. Ginsu. Who's that? I I I, I don't. Oh, I haven't regular. watched your show often enough, he's honestly. A, he's a regular. Yeah, he's a regular. Somebody knows. Yeah. Heck yeah. Well, I'm excited to meet. I Mr. believe Ginsu. today's July nine or ten, one of the two. Okay. Yes. I went down to the store, got myself yes. something yes. for lunch. It's called naked. Are you talking to him right now? Yeah. Uh, the juice. Make it juice. Yeah, I've heard of that. Um, the goodness from outside or something. Uh, uh, enjoy by August 12 of 20. Uh huh. What? July, August. So I got one month and then this stuff is bad. It's right. <laughs> but it ain't bad yet. Yeah, but you should probably drink it. And. I don't know if it's good or bad or not, because this is my first time drinking and drinking it. Juice drinking isn't it. that great for you, I think. Because it's my lunch. I uh, see in there it's got one and three-fourths apples. Something like Juice is from one and three-fourths apples, 11 strawberries, two-thirds of an orange, one-half a banana... Thirteen raspberries, seven red grapes. He's just reading the label. One fourth pomegranate. He's Mr. Grinch is reading Three the label. Three cranberries. And a hint of chocolate. Once you get towards the center, it's very Chocolate berries, <laughs> yeah. coke, coke berries, and elderberries. Choke berries or something. Uh, boost it with 8 grams of flaxseed, 2.5 milligrams of vitamin B6, and 6.6 .6 milligrams of vitamin B12. Yeah, that's what I'm after, B12. Brain food. Totally. Totally. And, uh, holy fucking cheap shit, motherfucker. 
Hello. I don't know what to tell you, but uh, today is one hell of a day. Yesterday was one hell of a day. Sure, I'm day. having one hell of a couple of days. Fucking oh, my oh, god. The day before was a fucking hell of a day. Every day. <laughs> and day before that, and day before that, but I guess we're also kind of hell of a day. It's a very difficult time right now, Mr. Ginsu. But anyway, I'm fucking doing nothing now. All right, let's call him back. Sitting here, smoke a cigarette, wait and fucking go back to... I'm calling him back. We've got about five minutes left today. Oh, what? Yeah, well, look, the, the sun is going down, huh? <laughs> I always do the program while the sun is going down. Like, I start the program, and it's light outside, and when I'm done, it's dark outside. Yeah, yellow fellow call up? Not today. I think we talked about it maybe yesterday or two days ago. Mm -hmm. We could try. I think he might be asleep on his own thing. So it's so like, in a different time zone. The call has been forwarded yeah. to an automatic voice oh, message. Mr. Gintu didn't answer. Yeah, he, Mr. Uh, Yellow Fellow is uh, on the East Coast. And um, so he's like, what, three hours later? So it's like, what, 1, 1 a.m. or something over there? Almost. So I think he might be asleep. It's a Friday, he might be awake, I don't know. Yeah, he might be like doing something else. I'm gonna get a call, so we only got five minutes left. I'm gonna call Mark the guitar player right now. And then uh we only got five minutes left, so I don't know if I could anyway. I could. Could try. Mark, I don't know where Mark is though. I think Mark. Not leave a message for one three six zero. Leave a message for Mark. Uh what does that do? Uh, All right. Well, do for us. Now we're not going to call. Up. We got five minutes left. I guess we'll just do this for the next, next five minutes. See what we're gonna do. Um, are you? Where, how's been living on a bus? You've been living on a bus this whole time, like for for a while. Oh, you want to know about? Have you been living on a bus for a while? Oh, uh, we've been living. We've been living in there for like uh, a year now. Uh huh. A little. A year now. So, but six months of that year has been quarantine time. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like, I mean, it, it didn't fucking change anything, really, because we're still just parking on the street, like. Yeah. Un unlike in, in an apartment where even if you're quarantined, like, shit's just, you're right next to every one of your neighbors. We're, we're across the street from all our neighbors. Yeah. But like, quarantine hasn't affected us super much via like our living months. circumstance. And have you been in uh, in town, or are you just traveling around all the time? No, we're, we're in town. We're in town. The mm. side. So you've Up been... on the west side over by Grocery Outlet. Thomas Street. But so you just been living in the neighborhood on the, in the bus, though? Hell yeah. No, that's good. Where do you, where do you have a toilet? Um, the fucking Woodruff. state park. Woodruff Park. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Secret park? I'm, really gonna, okay. I'm just saying, like, like sorry, don't reveal I'm, your... Okay, no, I'm just saying Woodruff Park is, like, the best public bathroom yeah, in the world. Because <laughs> it has warm water. It has Jeez. warm water, and that is such a rarity in public parks. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like, just like public parks. Yeah. You should... <laughs> and they've been open this whole time. They never even closed them down through the whole quarantine process? No. We fucking tried to a few times, and then, like, people were just smashing their shit up. You did a really? lot of Because they did close the parks for a good couple of months there, right? Yeah, they, they, they didn't close the bathrooms, but they, uh... They've, they've been taking they, care they of They closed the bathrooms for, like, two solid weeks. Yeah. Which was like, where the fuck am I gonna shit, dude? Yeah. Um, that, that's too bad. But yeah, it seems like a, the bus. And you have a, the bus like converted into a like a home kind of deal. You like take some seats off and um, stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're 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 a little more uh, in the process of conversion than in having it converted. Yeah. You know, like we're process of it. I've seen some pretty got some yeah. station in there and shit. Some, some pretty like tricked out like bus RV kind of deals, yeah. 
Yeah, we're working on getting to the RV level. And they, they like, lived in there, like, the whole winter and everything. It's crazy. Yeah, the winter was pretty right. chill. You got a, um, right. like, a furnace? No. No, we, we just fucking roughed it, dude. You just, like, have a jacket? <laughs> Yeah, a jacket, we got like some candles burning and some terracotta pots to soak up the heat and shit. Like a lot of blankets? And a lot of blankets. Wow. Yeah, if you have any listeners who are interested in like the hashtag man life, like, you know, we're the people to call. You know, we know what's up. Like, yeah. give advice. I think a lot we of the... We do advice panel. They got like a little stove for, for heat uh, in a lot of those vans that people live in. Yeah, no, our... our friend actually just managed to uh, save up enough money for a wood stove and that's fucking great for her yeah we're looking into something like that too come this winter but seems like it wouldn't be too expensive to salvage a wood stove but i guess if you're already living in the bus then maybe you don't even have the little well like to get, yeah. we, we we both work jobs we're not like fucking yeah yeah but okay. uh a lot of the wood stoves, like for the more compact ones, they, they do tend to be quite expensive. You hear that buzzer? Like seven hundred dollars. Oh really? Expensive. Wow. You hear the buzzer? Yeah, I that heard was, that. That was the timer for the end of the program. So. Oh no! Yeah, we made it. You got anything else you want to say before the show's over? I love you, Kenny. I love you. Nazis in the kill yeah. the Nazis. Yeah. Kill the Nazis. Run them out of town. We... Fucking infiltrate. Yeah. Nazi. Um, Fuck the police. We're, we're here. We're on. The, I'm, I'm here at 8:45 every day, except for Sundays when we're on at five. And we're on the Zoom, and you can call. So thanks, uh, thanks, or thanks everybody there on the, at your at your place, and thanks Jackson and Grandma, and Mr. Ginsu. Here's the credits. I'm running the credits, and Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Thanks Jordan. Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. I'm running the credits. Here they go. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Friday. Yeah, we're on QCTV Channel 22 at 1130 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, what is your 360 836 Call me a message. Get on TV. Yeah. 109 State Avenue, number three. Check it out. Fun singer, it's a good song, thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordi Fabos, Graham Graham, South Spy, I work. John Murphy, you're this guy, Russell State, USA, thank you. And viewers, as you're watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog! Woo! Woo! Bye!